So tonight I'm getting my first night train of my backpacking trip around Europe. And I was kind of looking online before I went on my trip and I couldn't find information on how they worked. So I'm kind of completely in the dark. So I'm gonna try vlog it. I don't know how much I can video because obviously like I don't be videoing people in the rooms and stuff like that. But I am in a dormitory style room. Don't know if it's female, don't know if it's mixed. We will find out. And I'm traveling from Rome to Vienna and Austria. So the train is in total 12 hours long. Just a little disclaimer, I am using Interrail, so it's cheaper for me to travel on this route. It's 36 euro um, for a bed for the night. I don't know how expensive it is without the Interrail pass because it does get discounted. So this is the screen here explaining where the gate is. Um, mine is currently actually not up yet. So I'm going to Vienna, but actually that train is heading to Munich. So you kind of have to be careful. So on the Interrail app, it tells you what like number the train is and then yeah you check if it corresponds and then you know that's your train i'm gonna go get myself some snacks for the train in the station and come back and hopefully the gate is there snacks for the journey so i got myself some snacks for the train and um, i was kind of expecting to find like a bigger supermarket type shop but yeah, we didn't have much options, but it's okay. These will keep us going. So they have like all your standard, like Nike, they have all the branded shops, but not many supermarkets <laughs> in Italy anyway. Okay, so it actually says that there's a 10 minute delay on my train. So I think I've got to go to McDonald's and get myself a really quick dinner because I haven't ate since 12 o'clock. I'm not starving, but I feel like I might get hungry during the night, so. So I'm actually on the train now. It said it was delayed by 10 minutes and then literally showed up on time and I got really nervous and just jumped on the train. So I'm gonna actually eat my McDonald's here in just like the standard carriage because I don't think these are reservation seats and then I'm gonna go find my dorm for the night, I suppose. Okay, so while I'm sitting here, I may as well show you my situation with bags. So this is my rucksack. It's a 40 liter carry-on, stuffed to the brim. And then this is like my personal item bag. And then I also have this little tote bag with me and then that just has like snacks, a drink and then just anything like kind of easy access I need because I'm not really sure what the bag situation is going to be like. I've been on my train before but it was 2015 so I think things might have changed by now. I'm going to go find my carriage. Okay, so I have made it to my carriage. The beds haven't been converted yet. There's four of us in here tonight, so it's not too bad because there can be six beds, which would be a little bit tight. Um, and this is what they look like, free converted. Um, this comes up here to make the six beds, but I think they're gonna leave it like this. And we have the bed sheets up here that we have to make ourselves, which will be fun. These two lovely girls in the carriage with me and we've been chatting and yeah, it's nice. Hi, I'm Natalie. Um, I'm Ruby, <laughs> and we're both from Bristol, and yeah. we're on our way to... We're interrailing, we're going to Budapest now, coming from Rome. Yeah, and I'm really grateful that they're women, and <laughs> I'm not in the room with men on my own, so that's nice. We have one other person coming, um, and we don't know them yet, so they might come in a few minutes. Okay. Okay. Oh, they're working here. Look at that. <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> <laughs> Finish. And that's the bed. Oh, nice. Is that it now? We just have to go to bed. <laughs> this is the sheets. So our new roommate Elaine has made her bed and it's beautiful. <laughs> I don't think I'll achieve that success, but I hope I'm down here. Down the bottom. We've got a pillow. And a blanket. So this is what the corridors are like. And then we have all the the rooms along here. So the doors are automatic and they scare the hell out of me. You gotta wait, it opens, you gotta get this one, and then just run. So the toilets are broken in our carriage, so we're going to first class. Let's see how we get on. <laughs> hmm. Not as bad as I thought it would be. <laughs> like being in an airplane, I don't like it. Look, it's a hostel on tracks for the night, so I can't really complain. Just gonna walk up there. Well, I dropped you, and I lock this up. So the train instructor would be so lovely, and he came around and asked everyone what they would like for breakfast, so he is waking those up at 8 a.m. to 
for breakfast um, and then our train gets in at five to nine um, and yeah he asked if you wanted to your coffee and yeah what you'd like in the morning which was really really nice and um, we're gonna head to bed now i'm so happy everyone in my room is nice oh. so i don't know the camera's not really picking it up but ruby thought it'd be nice to have some night ambience yeah it's nice <laughs> Very cool. Nice and cozy. Yeah. Everyone, everyone can see into the carriage. <laughs> We're at a train station. Oh my god, it's so bad. <laughs> Where's they, the blind? <laughs> they can't see you, but they can see me in the lane. <laughs> We don't know where the blind is for the window and we just pulled up to a train station and we're all in bed. <laughs> but the people can just see us sleeping. There has to be a blind. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. Okay, found the blind. No. Night night. Oh, it's hard. Okay, it doesn't really work. But... So included in the price of the ticket for the bed, you get breakfast! It's so cute! And then we have these nice views. So we've got two rolls, milk, butter, jam, and tea. Nice! The bread's really fresh actually. And if you're really lucky with the people that you share the, the pod with, this will be your view. <laughs> or this view. We like this one better. So we're off the train now. Overall, lovely experience. Met some lovely people. Um, sleep, not so amazing. But I got to go to a new country overnight, so can't complain. And I asked the other lady in her room who isn't into railing and the, the bed for the night cost 120 euro and it was 36 euros with Interrail Pass so big discount. <laughs> definitely, definitely worth the price. Um, I'm heading to my hostel now so thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful and see you in the next video. Bye!